we're doing this right now. We're making the Cyclops. Hey, buddy. Where's my mobile vehicle bay? It's too bright. I can't see. Oh, hello. Where is... There it is. Okay. Here we go. The third and final, for now, vehicle is about to be made. There is a fourth vehicle coming with the Below Zero expansion, but I don't know what it is. So, for now, this is all three of our vehicles. Cyclops. To be advised, the Cyclops is designed to be operated by a three-person crew. Look how big! Experienced townspeople should attempt to pilot this vehicle solo. Well, that's not an option. You'll have to settle for me. Oh my god, look at it! Oh, yes! Oh, I'm glad I didn't drop it on the reef back. That would have sucked. Look at it! Oh, how different it... What? Engine offline. Why does it say engine offline? Oh my god. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. I recognize that voice. Oh my god. Welcome to the Cyclops, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Oh. The upgrade fabricator is in the Cyclops? Is, was it, did it used to be like that? Because I don't fucking remember. Oh, right. I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, God. I think one of the last times I played this game before I made myself stop, they released the Cyclops update. And there had been Cyclopses in the game before that, but they just, like, basically added on to the Cyclops. Which included allowing it to take damage. I have one of the- I have the engine efficiency module already. I found that somewhere. But this is... He- what? Dude, I can customize my vehicles in the Cyclops now? That didn't used to be a thing. Oh. Oh my god. What is this? It's got, oh god, it's got like a, there's my life bar. Cool beans, oh god. Oh, I remember this. You can toggle the lights on and off. And we can name it. The thing that I always named my Cyclops before was this. Give me a second. The Carpe Mare, which in Latin means seize the sea. Excuse me, go around. And, uh, well, how did I used to color this thing? Uh, there we go, okay. We'll do stripe one, move it over to the light blue. There, that'll make it look better. Okay. Now, That's how much noise I'm making. Right! Power up the engine. Silent running. Oh my god, I remember all this. I don't remember that. Or the giant holographic light freaking bar behind me. Where's my cameras? Oh, here they are. Here we go. Yeah, I can access the cameras. So I can see. Yes, so I can see what I'm doing. Oh, I need to power up the engine first. Okay. Engine powering up. Oh, yeah! Just hear that baby roar to life! Okay, now let's go back to the cameras. And we'll descend. Where should I park this thing? Um... Probably near the front, right? <sighs> I love the Cyclops so much. Don't hit the Nereid now. See, now the thing is, it is slow, and if you want to go faster, you make more noise, which attracts things to you. <laughs> so, that's the downside. But, the other thing is, you can use the power on this thing to, like, go down into the deeper depths and just bring another one of your vehicles with you. And the other thing is, you can totally put storage crates, 
growth beds and stuff in your Cyclops and bring that stuff with you. Absolutely. And it's awesome. I don't have any decoy drones, but those would be incredibly useful. Um, I don't know how to use this thing. I don't know how to use this thing. There's, I'm overwhelmed. There's so many mechanics to the Cyclops now. Oh God. We're gonna turn off all the lights and can I power the engine down? Engine powering down. I can. I can turn it off and save power. Fuck yeah. The depth on this is only 500 meters, so in order to go down into the Lost River with this thing, I'm gonna have to get some depth modules crafted and shit. Where am I going? Oh, it's gorgeous! Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy! I don't know if I can charge my vehicles in the, uh, thing. Welcome aboard, Captain. I don't see why not. But let's go ahead and put the... Uh, no, I, I want to take the Nereid to the Grand Reef. The fuck? Twitch again? Really? <laughs> let's go ahead and put Abyss Walker in there. I kind of want to come up with a different... That didn't used to have a sound effect. <laughs> Oh, yes! Yes! <laughs> now I have the prawn suit in my Cyclops! It does charge. And it shows the health, and... Those are the upgrades, I think. Yes, I can, I can access the upgrades right here. Oh my god. And then there's the storage, so I can take- Oh god, I need to take some stuff out of you. You. Oh my god. This is so cool! It did not, definitely did not used to operate like this. I love it! Oh, I love it! Oh, I'm so happy. I, this is, if I am going to lose any vehicle, it's gonna be the Cyclops. Because, fuck. <laughs> so... I need 10 pieces of glass, meaning I need 20 pieces of quartz. How many do I have? 4, 8, 11, 17, 18, 19, 20. I'll have one piece of quartz left. Oh my god. Okay, well, let's do this. Let's go make my alien containment unit right now. It goes over here. I already have the space all built for it. Provide an ideal opportunity to study alien fauna up close. Fauna. Select carefully which life forms you bring on board. They may also be studying you. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> Good to know. Thank you. This is only the top half though. I can. Uh... There we go. Yeah, there we go. Boosh! Look at it! It's one giant double floor tank! And now I'm gonna start putting stuff in it, except I can't because I need to build a hatch. Do I need glass or quartz to make a hatch? I need... Oh, thank God. Okay, I have that. My last piece of quartz! <laughs> I have no more quartz after this. Uh, where should we put the hatch? Should I just put it right here? Ah, why not? Right here in front. Okay, I can go in. Look at this! <laughs> Swimming around in my base. That's cool. Okay, now I have two eggs. I will put one here. I guess right there in the middle, sure. And then I'll put the other one right there. I don't really know what's gonna hatch out of these, but we'll, we'll figure it out, I guess. Okay, we've got some eggs. Now I'm gonna go out into my exterior grow bed. Fuck it, we'll take a shortcut. We we're gonna take some stuff off of these. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna need my knife. Uh, there we go. There's so many reef backs here all of a sudden. Um, I want you in there. 
And I'll take a, uh, jelly shroom shirt. And, uh, hmm. Let me take a sea crown. Can I put, like, blood kelp in there? I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna see if I can put blood kelp in there. Because that would be awesome. Climb up the ladder! Thank you. Lantern. Blood oil. <gasps> I'm gonna have blood kelp in here! Oh, that's gonna be awesome! Oh, I'm excited. Okay, so now every time I see an egg and I don't know what it is, I'm gonna bring it home, I'm gonna hatch it, and we're gonna see what it is, and I'm gonna be able to scan it, and it's gonna be awesome. I have an alien containment unit! Finally! Jesus Christ, how long have I been trying to do that? Arg. I think... I came up with a good, uh... came up with a good placeholder name. And again, if you guys want me to name the Cyclops something else, I will do it. For now, I'm gonna give it other names. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. Thank you very much. I think I have a good name. Ready for the reveal? It's on the wrong side. Fuck. <laughs> give me a second. <laughs> okay. It is... Rivas. If you guys don't know what the significance behind Rivas is, it is the name of my friend Sarah, who was in my Until Dawn playthrough. Uh, it's her boyfriend's last name. And the reason why I picked his last name, don't eat me right now. I'm trying to be sentimental here. Thank you. Carlos surprised Sarah with a trip to Disney World earlier this month. Uh, I think mid-December is when they went, so this is way probably in like January or February by the time you guys see this. But mid-December, uh, actually yesterday, they just got back. And uh, while they were there, Carlos proposed to my best friend Sarah. So they're going to get married. And it's super exciting. And congratulations right here in a YouTube video to Sarah and Carlos. And I'm naming my Cyclops after the last name that you two will eventually both share. So that's a thing. Oh, don't get weepy eyed me. Don't get misty eyed me. Don't do that. I know you're a Seth, but don't do that. Okay. So we have the Nereid, we have Abyss Walker, and we have Rivas. So, there. Yeah. I like it. Okay. So what are we going to do now? Um, Welcome aboard, Captain. I want to go down into the Grand Reef and find the thing we haven't found yet. Recycles heat byproduct to increase engine efficiency. 300%. Excellent. I can put six upgrade modules in here. Oh, oh my god. So what are the things I need to get started on making? Uh, well, eventually I want to make everything, but that, that, eh, that, I can make that right now. I feel like I should make that right now. That, and that. So pretty much, yep, everything. The sonar can wait, uh, but yeah, I don't really use sonar all that much. Fire suppression system. I am going to need this, desperately. Like, seriously, you guys have no idea how important that's going to become. Okay. There we go. I feel safer now. Now I need to start working on the depth module. What did I need for that? Oh, God. Plastiling it in three ruby. I don't think I have enough titanium to make another plastic. I think I have a spare somewhere. But I thought I was going to need it for something else. I need to go O. Oh! I see! Okay, so in the inevitability when my the interior of my Cyclops catches fire, which is going to happen, by the way, <laughs> I hit that button and I can put out the fires. I don't know if that'll save me, but maybe. I don't know. <laughs> okay, depth module. My Cyclops can go down 500 meters right now. Let's see how far it can go once I put this thing in. 900 meters. 
And that's the Mark 1. We can go all the way up to Mark freaking 3. That's a that was a really successful session. I built the prawn suit. I built the Cyclops. I'm apparently smoking a joint or something. Like, I don't know what's going on, but... I just have smoke in my face, which is really weird. One, two, three, four diamond. And lithium. Got it. Okay, I can make the drill arm right now. And then I can go down to the Lost River and get that nickel. Uh, I can probably do that off camera, because I found it. I just didn't grab it. I can go back and grab it right now. What is this? I don't need that. That could be useful. That means, like, my, my power will last longer before it dies. I feel like the prawn suit needs that more than the sea moth does, because, God, my power went down quick in, in the Abyss Walker. We're doing this. All right. I need a computer chip and polyaniline for that. I can do that later. I am going to go ahead and put this in my... Abyss Walker, because that's the other thing I actually remember is, if you had... Welcome up, Captain. All systems online. I love that voice so much. Uh, it just sounds cool. If you were to put, say, your prawn suit in the Cyclops and you wanted to add an upgrade, you had to, like, drop it out of your Cyclops, put in the upgrade, and then put it back in, and it was kind of annoying. But now, you don't have to do that anymore! Drill arm. I can go back down to the Lost River and get that nickel now. We found the alien containment unit. We built the Cyclops. Dude. Can I make can I make the uh stasis rifle? Stasis rifle. Oh my lord. Two magnetite, one titanium, and a computer chip. Computer chip is. Oh uh, I need two magnetite, I saw that. Okay. It's copper wire, gold, and table coral, is it not? You're awful loud up there, Reefback. Don't hit my base. Boosh. Okay. And then now what do I need? I need titanium. I just need one piece of titanium, and I can make a stasis rifle right now. If you would have hit Scanner on accident, I would have punched myself in the face. Stasis Rifle! Awesome! Now we can get really up close to the Leviathans and to do our very best to not die while scanning them. <laughs> Alright. So, yeah, we accomplished everything. There's one... Additional note. Craig McGill crash landed in the acid swamps at Boreal 9 fought off arachnid kidney poachers, and hijacked a tamed star wall. If you can do all that, you can survive one more day. Well, thank you. <laughs> Just take a second to process that. Arachnid, aka spider, kidney poachers. Ugh! No thank you! The hair on the back of my neck just stood up thinking about that. Yeah, I'm not gonna bring it with me. I'm not gonna bring it with me. I'll save it. And then one of these days we'll have a bonus video where I go and scan all the leviathans, but right now we haven't even found all the leviathans yet, so probably shouldn't do that. Scan all the predators, all that crap, we'll have like a bonus set of videos where we do that. But for now, uh, I think I'm good. Am I going to need anything that I don't currently have on my person? I don't think so. Okay, I think we're ready to go. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna grab a... Uh, Nereid's in the moon pool, is she not? Okay. Yep, I'm going to the Grand Reef. Welcome aboard Cap Systems Online. Which is in that direction. Ish. I think it's more this way. Let's just head south, southwest of my base. Boop! Maybe more like Southwest. Okay, <laughs> let's go Southwest. There is a thing in the deep Grand Reef that... Oh, 
what? Did I just hatch a mesmer in my base? Spadefish? That's boring! Well, I guess I'll keep my eyes open for more eggs then. <laughs> so my eggs hatched. They're mesmer and, oh god, frozen. Blah. Mesmer and spadefish. I'll keep my eyes open for different eggs and we will bring them home. No, that's mine! Give it! Drop it! Drop! Drop! No! Don't take it away! Drop! Fuck you. Oh boy, I hope I'm still heading the right way. Cause this place is creepy! Okay, here we are. The Grand Reef. Now, we're in the Grand Reef, but we need to go to the deep Grand Reef. And luckily that means not going into the crater. Because <laughs> there's another damn crater. There's more than one crater. That's so just beyond terrifying. Hey, sea treaders! Oh, hello. I do. That was creepy. That was scary. Okay. Another vent. Is this the same one I saw earlier? Probably. <laughs> I wonder where that goes. And why do they get, like, they, they come out, right? It says they come out unharmed. The peepers, like, go in willingly. And then they just come out. That's so, look at, yeah, look at it, it just spat him out. That, oh. <gasps> what are you doing out of your hole? And it was also like 420 meters down was where the wreck was. Is that where the pit of death and despair is? Do not spawn right in front of me. If you spawn right in front of me, I will shit my pants and I will quit this game right now. Why is it so far away from the crater? This looks promising. Aha! Here's the wreck. We could never go in here before because I'm an idiot and forgot to bring my laser cutter. But now I have a laser cutter, so I can go in. Where's the way in? Uh, where is the way in? The way in didn't require a laser cutter because I didn't have one and I still managed to get in. There it is. Okay. That's a fucking bummer. Okay, well let's go in the wreck right now. Maybe I should save my game? I'll save it when I get back into the warper. Okay. Boy, I hope he's not gonna come in the wreck. 